and they're all ready to fucking backstab each other. So the second I started flack with that fucking community, it started leaking like a fucking sieve. Like Bugs Bunny shot up in a fucking duel in an old cartoon after he drinks water. Just pouring out every side. Let's hop fucking straight to it. Um, so somebody sent this to me yesterday. All right. Uh, last night. And uh, this is uh, this is the gay fesh individual. We'll get into their background and all that stuff real quick. I want to fucking front load this. I know I have a bunch of fucking drama community people that are peeking in. You guys can't fucking we are, you get right to the fucking facts. Okay, we'll do it. Gay Fesh, yesterday, 6.18 p.m. This is actually yesterday, yesterday, uh, from what I understand. Uh, maybe two days ago now. Oh, Jesus. If she covers the West Side Tyler video and sees him threaten to dox and assault me, I'm just trying to keep that shit quiet. Just asking friends to report the video. I do not want that to become discourse. Well, first off, fucking, you ain't got friends that give a shit about you. <laughs> Oh, ho that whole fucking goddamn, like, dude, thank you, Kendrick Lamar, for simplifying discourse for the entirety of this summer, because Demon Mama's entire discord and the White Leaf server in general is just OV ho shit. OV ho shit, start to fucking finish. So this person is just saying they're organizing on Demon Mama's server. In order to try to fucking dox me there's a bigger version of this i just wanted it to be larger so everybody can read it if you want to see any of this stuff it's all on my fucking server so they are trying to do a little whisper campaign to get my channel taken down now i don't think demon mama should be successful on the internet i don't like her channel i don't like i don't like her content i don't like the way she acts but if she changed anything about the way that she behaves the way that she acts who she is as a person relative to content i wouldn't say anything anymore because I ain't, I'm not, I'm, I'm a motherfucker that's had a job in my life, okay? I actually do prefer to talk about arts and culture and politics shit. Dunking on fucking Shadowversity's cringy ass for his bad takes on everything and his inability to write a book is my bread and fucking butter. I love it. But unfortunately, my proximity to these individuals on the left means that their fucking goddamn entire little crew of idiots rubs off on me. Every time I have to say, I give a shit about workers' rights, then people have to, people come out of the fucking woodwork these days. Oh, you care about workers' rights? What about Vosh's pedo folder? You care about workers' rights? You want to comment on Ava Chris Tyson jerking off the fucking Shad Man shit and trying to fucking suck his dick through the internet? No. I just want people to have a higher wage, motherfucker. That's it. The start and finish. What about fucking Stalin? I don't fuck, fuck Stalin. Fucking mustache wasn't that good. How about that? Slander. And the unfortunate fact is, is these people continue to fucking exist. I don't want this to be my content. I don't like talking about them because you run out of shit to talk about real fast. I'm not like them. They not like us. I don't make shit up about people. Okay? I don't try to get little fucking groups of people together to have little fucking whisper campaigns. Because I ain't like that. I'm a fucking real person. And there's a lot of real people on the internet. I think they're getting fucking sick of this shit. Especially if you're trying to actually get anything done. Mind you, this is a community, and I might get into a little bit more of this. I don't know. I wanted to front load the gay fest shit right off the fucking rap. Um, this is a fucking community where the head of it, Demon Mama, is a person that thinks you can just start fucking making pharmaceutical stuff in, like, your bathtub. Or just, like, you could just destroy the pharmaceutical industry and rebuild it from scratch. Which I go back to all the time, but it's because it's a good fucking example of how dumb she is. Everything else that she talks about, she's also basically equally wrong, aside from things that are like, damn, this video game that 14 million people are playing and is rated extremely overwhelmingly positive, I like it. <laughs> it's not quite perfect, but I like it. And she should stick to that shit. Play video games. Be dumb. That's okay. But, but you fight know, literally. You know, I liked it when you just played video games. I liked it when you just talked about Bloodborne. Why the fuck you gotta come into the real world? And start fucking smearing your shit around. I don't like this. This stems from me saying, uh, I didn't want this person's jaw to work anymore. Something like that. I fucking clipped it out of the goddamn thing. Because I did go too far, okay? I made a mistake. I was a little bit too spicy. I have literal brain damage from when I was in the Marines. I get a little CT sometimes, okay? I have one. I, I get a little fucking spicy. But also, you should feel free... 
to talk a little shit on the internet. It wasn't like I was saying, I'm going to fucking come to this guy's house and gave the address and said, I'll be there on, a, a, on Tuesday to get you. I just said, shut the fuck up. Really? Honestly, and put some fucking internet juice on it. And honestly, you know what? Gay fesh. I'm sorry if that made you nervous. I'm sorry if that made you nervous and you misunderstood my intent. I took it down for that reason. But this shit isn't how you fucking fix it. I have said I don't want Demon Mama to have a channel, but I would never try to use YouTube against her. I want to prevent. A, I want to provide a good case why Demon Mama is a dog shit creator and a bad person. Thank you, Gay Fesh. Gay Fesh is, by the way, one of her moderators. He's also the one that wrote, scored, produced, whatever the fuck, her piss fetish break song. We'll get into that. But I just want to convince people that you're not good based on shit you have done. I want to tell the truth about you and then let people make their own decision. I o I've only ever said that. I want you to lose subs. And I do. I want Demon Mama to lose subs because I don't think she should have people connected to her and supporting her. But she should lose subs because I convinced those people that they should not be her fan anymore. That's how this, ha that's how this works. That's how this always was supposed to work, okay? Not, I'm going to go behind your back. Not, I'm going to fucking get the jannies on you. Literally. Fucking, you talk all this shit about, I don't like 4chaners. I don't like Kiwi Farmers. Motherfucker, you're sicking jannies on me. You know what I mean? Trying to do lol suits. The, the person this guy's talking about is someone named Naomi Chance. By the way, Naomi, if you want to talk to me, talk to me. I'm not afraid of any of you people. I'm too fucking old. I'm too close to fucking death. I'm on the other side of having to beg for a fucking job, okay? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't do crimes and shit. I don't look up porn that's weird as fuck and share it with people on my live stream. I'm not a secret pedophile. I, you don't got anything on me like that. I'm never going to be like that. So stop acting that way. If you want to try to take me down, just describe me to your fans in a way that's accurate and let them make their own fucking decision. You weak fucks. I've offered Demon Mama on Twitter, and I know she's seen it, because Demon Mama is fucking irrelevant, first and foremost. Demon Mama has three times the subs that I do, roughly, and I've gotten a third of the subs she has in a fucking year. She's got a stagnant channel. She didn't gain shit off fucking Dog and Xander Hall, okay? I know that when I fucking at you, you hear me, bitch. I fucking know you hear me. I know you do. So stop fucking playing chicken and shit, and come fucking talk to me. That's all you have to do. If you're not a fucking psycho fuck asshole lying and shit, screaming, doing your fucking in your fucking chair, you'll probably look good. You can make me look like an asshole. Stand on your 10 fucking toes, come to the fucking Discord, and chat it out. Chat it out. Defend yourself outside of your group of fucking sycophants, because otherwise you end up with this. Whisper campaigns, organizing, brigading on your Discord so fucking openly to try to get my channel taken down over bullshit that you're getting ratted out by your own fucking people. And if I found this, if somebody's just sharing this little bit, it's not that much. I mean, yeah, okay, I haven't found the whole, like, Discording server. I haven't found the secret 4chan board. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. But, like, this is enough. This is on top of President Sunday getting fucking cracked off at of Twitter. And if you don't like President Sunday, you don't like him. I'm not going to try to convince you to fucking give a shit about him personally. But is this how we fucking do stuff on the internet now? We appeal to fucking Elon. Elon! Daddy Elon! Get, per get, get President Sunday out of here! He'd be a mean baby to me! Oh, Su Su is it Susan Wojcicki? However the fuck you say it. Oh, Google! Google, please, Daddy, Google, as a fucking leftist creator on the internet, please, please, capitalist god pig overlord, could you get rid of them? <laughs> and then what do you do? You fucking walk around giggle? Do you know how much the internet will lose if I lose my channel? If Demon Mama disappeared tomorrow, no one would give a fuck. People like me. I'm entertaining. The people won't want me to go because I'm actually fucking funny. I'm actually interesting. That's why I've gained 10k fucking subs in the last year with no networking. I just make good content. And you're fucking willing to throw that away, that kind of potential, just at a check because you're fucking petty. It's because you don't got shit. You're fucking jealous in the fucking heart of you. But let's talk about who these fucking people are. Gay Fesh is this guy, okay? From what I understand. And Gay Fesh, if you want to come talk to me ever, I'm around. 
And don't think that if you just like post real quick in the t my chat moves, okay? It moves now. So just fucking like hit me up on the Discord. This is Gay Fesh. He is a music artist or some shit from fucking Washington, okay? Look, he's upset that I'm doxing him. I'm not doxing anybody. Doxing in real life. I, I don't know when this fucking occurred. Doxing is from back in old internet speak era, okay? And doxing means I literally drop like your fucking address and your phone number so people can deliver pizzas to your house. If you are on the fucking internet talking to me and trying to fuck with my goddamn money, then me describing you and trying to figure out who the fuck is accusing me of shit is my right as an American. It's my Fifth Amendment right to know who the fuck is accusing me of shit. Might be the, yeah, I think it is the fifth. So, like, this is Gay Fesh. This is the guy that's trying to fucking come get me. All right. Now, does he look like he's a fucking absolute candidate for Megan's Law? Yes. Does he hang out with people that probably are also Megan's Law candidates? Yes. The fucking red dots are all the fuck over White Leaf. It is a, it is, it looks like the fucking OVO mansion from the Kendrick album. There's a lot of people in there defending Lolly. Side to side from that shit, jerking off to it, the whole fucking nine yards, the king caboodle, the king of that whole fucking, the king of that whole thing is fucking Vosh Vidya, who everybody knows is the lolly folder guy, the guy that literally can't stop cranking his fucking hog to pictures of children, okay? When you don't get rid of that element, you start getting this fuck, all right? This fuck leaks down from that, comes out. And now we've got whisper campaigns and shit. Because the kind of people that are going to fucking be fucking with lolly porn and shit don't do things in the light. They don't have conversations with people. They build fortress arcs. They hide and they send their little rat fuck scavengers over to your fucking community to try to like spy on you and shit. But you, there's nothing to spy on me about. Talk, ask me a fucking question. I'm not going to lie. I don't care. I'm me, motherfucker. I always have been. I'm not like you. I don't have secret pictures of fucking kids. I, I don't keep folders of like psychotic fucking illegal pornography and shit, man. I don't sexually harass women and then try to cover it up and try to treat them like shit. Like that's this community. And by the way, so this is fucking Demon Mama's guy, right? If you don't know, if you don't know the whole fucking backstory for this. Demon Mama is an orbiter of a guy named Vosh, okay? They're all on this site called White Leaf. White Leaf is run by somebody named White Nervosa, who may or may not be a blue, trip, blue chip streamer. Uh, White Nervosa has, on multiple occasions, tried to take out other creators or threaten them to not release shit by making little quorums on their site. I'm going to be looking into that more fully and open invitation, literally. I'm not going to prove anything. I'm not going to prove a thing on this This stream and put up a bunch of shit come talk to me literally if you have a single problem with the single fucking thing i'm saying white nervosa pop in here come here come i'm gonna fucking say some shit about you if it's wrong come correct me there's all you could get to me from fucking everywhere from fucking everywhere i got my suspicions and i want them clarified first off why does white leaf fucking platform people that got all kinds of lolly porn and shit on their computers that's crazy and then that's not that big of a deal, but if you fucking call out Keffels and shit for being a weird fuck, then then you get your whole fucking channel knocked down. If you call out Vosh, you get it sometimes some, all of a sudden people start coming off to your channel. Why is that? Why is that happening? Why is White Leaf is a community that is fucking putting out this streaming service? Why? These are my questions I want answered. Why do you have influence over the decisions that your fucking creator makes? Because Streamlabs doesn't do that to me. OBS has never fucking sent me an email. Like, I don't know if you should say that about Demon Mama. Okay? So, wh so why do you do that? I want to know that. Answer that question to me. I, I, I demand, really, kind of, to know. Because that's fucking suspicious that you guys are this influential on the left. You snatch up little baby streamers and shit and give them channels and give them a few connections. Then all of a sudden, you got to be on the fucking suck, dot, fuck, suck, Vosh's dick train. Or, or you might lose your whole channel. Is that how you're set up? Like, why, why does it look like that from the outside? You know? But that's strange. Why haven't you gotten rid of Vosh after all that shit? If you got ethics and morals and stuff. So like, is that what you're cool with? Because you make editorial decisions. You know what I mean? Oh, well he pays for the thing. Oh, okay. Well, that's crazy. That's crazy. So people that, people that call him out, they, people that call him out, they can get, 
they can get hit with fucking we might drop your channel, right? They can get hit with we might drop your channel. But if you actually have fucking lolly pornography aired through your program, through your program on his stream, right? White Leaf provided the service through which Vosh distributed lolly porn to his audience of whoever knows how many thousands at the time. So you can do that if you pay for it, right? If you're at the tippity top, then that's fine. That's not against any sort of moral code. And then it's crazy that almost all the people that are in the fucking server where, or, or the little crew where if you talk shit about Vosh, or you try to correct them on something. None of them had much to say about it. Oh, it's just kind of gross. Demon Mama didn't have anything to say about that. Isn't that weird? Where is it? If I'm wrong, let me know. Where's the Demon Mama video about how it's fucking suspicious as shit? That Vosh has been making all this fucking child porn arguments. And Vosh has been sharing lolly porn. And Vosh has been sharing porn of fucking children performing sexual acts on animals and stuff. Like, how is that? That's crazy, right? Why has the Demon Mama said something about that? You can come talk to me. Tell me. I'll just say, okay. I don't have any evidence into the fucking, the, 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 the fucking landscape of your mind. I just want to know. Who doesn't? How about this? If you're a fucking fan of them, why don't you want to know? Isn't that suspicious? Isn't that weird? Look at the year of Cat Williams asking questions. Y'all fucking love that shit. But how about, how about you got all the people watching that Demon Mama stream? Ain't, ain't none of you fucking... Ain't none of you a little thrown? A little fucking put off by the fact that she didn't say shit about that folder? Did she? What did she say? I don't fucking... I don't remember hearing anything about it. I couldn't find it. That's weird. That's weird to me. She's still friends with him? You hanging out with the lolly porn guy? That's crazy. That's strange, right? Not something I would do. Not like me. Not like us. <laughs> very, very fucking bizarre. Gay Fesh is a moderator in her community. Okay? He's a very, very important person, apparently. And I've seen Gay Fesh. I know that name. I know that name from listening to fucking Vosh things too. So this is a person that's everywhere. It's an influential member of these communities. Okay. Not if maybe, or, or, okay, well, he's not like the fucking first in line to the crown. He's one of the other fucking weasels walking around King's Landing. I've been watching that show too much. He's everywhere. And that's, that's pretty crazy. Okay. He got fucking President Sunday cracked. President Sunday made a fucking comment to him about me and got booted for threats. Over saying, like, if I wanted to give you, excuse me, if I wanted to give you naval dysentery or some shit, like, whatever, 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 whatever. Mass report, crazy. I've said some rank shit. I'll say this right now. I have said some rank shit to the fucking drama community, okay? Rank shit. And they don't fucking report like that side does. You can actually have a conversation. As I'll disagree with them on, on politics. I'll disagree with them on the way they live, the way they act, the way they are. But they don't, they don't fucking try to go after your fucking, your, your, your livelihood instantly. Like they're fucking little fucking clowns, just instant fucking hard reporting and shit all the fucking time. Isn't it crazy that fucking Kiwi Farms as a website is less snaky than fucking Demon Mama's own Discord. Isn't that wild? Because Kiwi Farms reports. <laughs> if Kiwi Farms found out Xander Hall was threatening to kill Keffels, they would have put hit post. You fuck, it would have been literally, if 50 of them would have fucking had it, and you put them all on, a all on a street, they would be beating each other with sticks trying to be the first one to get to the cell phone to post it at the end of the street. Oh shit, evidence of wrongdoing. Can't wait to share that. Might be for the bad reasons or whatever, but they would have fucking shared it. They would have. Kiwi Farms had plenty to say about a dude dropping a folder full of children fucking horses. They had shit to say. Yo, I don't like Kiwi Farms. I don't like Kiwi Farms. How the fuck? I, I'm not even a big fan of them. Not my website. But how are they coming out looking like fresh as fuck compared to Demon Mama's whole ass community? They didn't cover up fucking evidence of Xander Hall, a leftist, abusing his fucking employee. Which was wrong. Which was bad. I only got so much about it. They didn't cover that up and wait nine months. <laughs> To talk about it. When fucking Keffels was fucking up, they dropped that shit right away. The whole fucking first thing with Xander Hall, Xander Hall said, I have evidence. I, I, you showed me evidence of fucking Keffels doing something wrong. 
I want to share it because she's fucking blowing me up because fucking Xander Hall can't pick a fight that he can win because he's not built like that. But he should have been able to share it the second he did it. Why? Why ain't you fucking sharing shit? Why are you hiding stuff? What else are you hiding is the real question. And I can't, I don't, I don't know yet, but I want to know why people aren't asking that. I want to know why they feel safe sneak fucking around to my community trying to take me off the fucking internet but they don't keep their own house clean talking to a lot of shit talking a lot of shit about the drama community these drama people are bad these drama people are horrible and sometimes you know you drama fucks are miserable fucks but you don't lie about it demon mama's whole thing was we raid with love what the fuck does that mean the fuck does that mean what does raid with love mean coming over to my fucking community trying to fucking mass report me Building up little whisper campaigns against me? Lying about me? It's strange kind of love, isn't it? How do you treat people? How do you treat people over there, Demon Mama? You blackmailed them? You blackmailed Xander Hall? Trying to get me fucking pushed off the internet? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. But it doesn't go two ways. It doesn't go for whoever's giving you money. How deep does it go? Somebody just said, how deep is the iceberg? I don't know, and I will tell you right now, you can't trust Demon Mama. You can't trust her, because she runs cover for some fucking weird shit. Weird shit. Weird shit. Weird shit. Let me play the fucking, I, this is going to get, I know, don't fucking report me, gay fesh. I'll just keep trying to fucking dig. Don't fucking report me. Okay, I'm going to play your stupid fucking uh, Demon Mama bathroom song. Give me just one. Hey chat, Demon Mama has to go to the bathroom, so listen to the Demon Mama bathroom song. She streams 20 hour days and 9 days a week, so let's give her and her bladder a little fucking- This is, this is gay fesh singing. Fucking- Break! Bro, I think Demon Mama's not even her real name. <laughs> They're raiding you out of love for Demon Mama, it's true! God, this is fucking boring as shit. It gets weirder. I remember playing Hell Dive. Ah, fuck it. From Colleen's video. Nobody wants to listen to more of that. Right? She responded to Adam. There's a whole fucking song about her fucking pissing and shit. <laughs> She's still peeing. Her bat bladder's still full. You know, and it, this is the thing I say on my channel all the time. I, it, I'm always deeply suspicious of people. Okay? Especially once I start seeing, like, a pattern of behavior. And this is the, this is the people, they, they, they run cover for weirdo fucking fetish shit all the time. And just having a big long song about how you're peeing and your bladder's all full. Oh, she's getting so fucking relieved and shit. That sounds like, I'll tell you what, hey, I'm not big enough, but if I have anybody watching that can reach out to Pyro Cynical. Pyro Cynical, if you're out there, can you tell me if a long, a, a long, a long fucking song about how someone's bladder's super full and they gotta pee so bad and they're getting so much relief from all that pee they're holding. Pyrocynical, does that sound familiar to you? Pyrocynical, Pyrocynical, I'm I'm summoning you, Pyrocynical. <laughs> Where's the bet? Where the be the West Side bathroom song? It's just a fucking. It's just <laughs> an instrumental. <laughs> oh man, I was listening the first time. I was like, because I listen to other people's streams in the background while playing Hell Divers. When I was playing Helldivers, I didn't turn that shit off. It's fuck, too addictive. I'm like, what in the fuck is this? And it just kept going. Like, fuck, 10 minutes, this dude talking about this bitch pissing. I made that up in a day. This is a great song about me peeing. If it was one thing, okay. But it kind of just keeps, it kind of keeps fucking building up. It kind of keeps building up. And there's just a lot of weird shit. You know what I mean? Just weird stuff. Very strange. So I can't remember. Somebody could correct me in, in chat if they want. But there's a person named Pseudofon who I think is Doe's partner. In their ma or, or, or Demon Mama's partner. I don't know. Demon Mama is in a fucking like relationship or something with a series of people who are all deers and deer names and shit. All right. And some of them aren't the other one and some of them are. I can't keep any of their pronouns correct because it's a bunch of it's and them's it's and them's them's and it's so I don't fucking know I don't fucking know 
Feet guy from the House of Dragon vibes. abso fucking lootly. Uh, that song just seems silly to me. I just don't see much behind that. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's fucking, it's just weird. It's just how much weird can you get? How much weird, how much weird do you think the average fucking crew needs? Okay, let me just get. So, um, I think Doe and Fawn are two different people. Yes, which it's great that they're all right next to each other. So we got here is uh, Sudafan, which is just mad weird. So this is the person that like Demon Mama. You're like that. I don't know how this isn't that weird. This is like one of the people that Demon Mama wakes up and sees every day. Okay, I wrote an entire short story about incest, but it's okay because they were aliens with a societal custom of pairing same gender siblings, right? That's weird. I'm just going to have sex with this three-year-old non-human with demon-looking things coming out her back. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So, uh, Poju draws proportionally incorrect, unappealing peens. That's a dick. On exaggerated bodies that don't make sense for males half the time. Sometimes they draw a nice, sound boy body, but they will never do the penises right. Okay. All right. Nobody. Me. Baby dick is kind of an endearing to term, to be honest. Cute little ones deserve love, too. All right. Okay. Confirmation maximum. You into cute little Shota dick, huh? Shota is the boy male i don't know how to say this without wanting to fucking like literally paint my ceiling with my brains version of lolly okay so lolly is girls shoda is boys let's see what the let me get a little closer in this one yeah get, get my old man glasses here yeah and it's disastrous fourth wind terabad gotta go back to looking for ladies who enjoy shoda con fine shoda's traps and yaoi are the best Whoa, now we have reached separation. Lollies, tough girls, and Yuri are the best. I like females in normal settings. Yo, can anyone hook me up with about 4,000 drawings of traps, shodas, and new halves where I can crop solely to the face? Thanks in advance. Why does TPB even have a porn category? Why don't you just pirate video games like a normal person? Okay. I am extremely out of the loop in the world of pornography, probably because all I care about is trap and show to dojins. I don't know, like, this is for nobody. I don't know what the joke is here. Tell me, as a matter of Demon Mama, you can pop in anytime. Gay Fesh. Anyone, if you want to pop in at any time, at any time, and just let me know where the joke is. I'll fuck I, if you can explain it to me the right way. I'm pretty sure I'll laugh. I'll be like, oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the number of anime related pictures you have on your computer slash phone is the number of years you will spend in hell. Blastro turf. Does hentai give me more or less years? Actually, never mind. There's a lot of Shota in there. I'm fucked. Shota, by the way, let me just explain this to you. Shota, by the way, is even more like Lolly than Lolly, too. It is specifically like boys eight years old and under kind of thing. So when she said bait, she literally means like a baby when she said baby dick. They're like, I have been on a website called 4chan.org, okay? I know the darkest things. I always think I do. But... Unfortunately, sometimes there's not there's not a bottom that you can get to, okay? Which is wild. <laughs> so, when she says there's a lot of Shoda in there, she means like baby boys, like children. This is Demon Mama's partner. So like, you know, you go to bed, if you were out there in a relationship, normal motherfuckers, regular people, and you go to bed and you're like, hey, what did you, what, what's up? How, what, are you, what are you thinking of? What are you looking at your phone? Somebody might be like, I don't know. I saw somebody on Instagram. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be looking at a cute lady on Instagram, cute guy on Instagram, whatever it is. Or just like, I'm worried about my taxes. I hope that we have time this weekend to plant some flowers. 
You know what I mean? Ah, shit, dude, I can't wait for vacation. Oh, dude, you know what? In the morning, we should go get donuts. What are you thinking about, Fawn? Pseudo Fawn? Demon Mama's partner? Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking about baby dick. <laughs> I'm thinking about fucking children. Like, what in the fuck, bro? Because this isn't like, Tyler, you're bullying a trans person. Bro, I would have this fucking energy for everybody. Because it's gross. It, I, it's fucking nasty. I don't think Vosh is trans. And uh, same fucking deal, bud. Same fucking deal. They all know each other. They live in like the same area. There, it's a not unreasonable suspicion to think that Vosh was traded, swapping maybe some of these fucking pornos with each other. They're all into the same shit. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that fucking weird? Isn't that strange? Why are they around? What in the what? I would fucking my oh, if it was my own little brother, dude. My own little brother, fuck, blood of my fucking blood. And I found out he was posting shit like this. I would fucking whip his ass out of love. I would beat the shit out of my brother to try to fuck undo whatever had gone wrong inside of him. We gotta fuck. We gotta no. We gotta fix that. You can't be doing that shit. What are you talking about? What? But it just can't it keeps coming up. They'll hide it for you. They will hide some shit over there at fucking Demon Mama's community and up in the White Leaf. They won't talk about it. They don't fucking bring it up. You gotta pull it out of them. They gotta make a mistake before you know. And what else is like that? They gotta make a mistake before you know what's up. What else is like that? You know what's really fascinating? The fact that they take this super seriously but are willing to sit on the stuff Xander Hall said for months. Like, dude. First off, I'm I'm a threat, right? I'm a threat. I'm talking shit. I don't fucking know. I literally say in the same breath of like, I'm dangerous to you. I don't fucking know who you are. <laughs> and if you want to take it seriously, that's fine. I'm not justifying that. You shouldn't make threats about people on the internet. When I do it, it's wrong for me to do, okay? I lose track of shit. If I have to take a fucking penalty from YouTube, that's a natural penalty. I'll take it, okay? If people want to say, Tyler, you're a fucking psycho, that's fine. I know the veterans affairs knows. Okay. But I'm not going to act on anything. I, I, I literally, I'm unironically anti-violence. Trust me. Otherwise I would still do it for money. <laughs> the options open for me. If I actually just wanted to hurt people, I would go to Ukraine and fucking hurt Russians. I'd, that's pretty much it. But I'm kind of, I have that part of my life is behind me. But like, you know, that's, that's, oh shit. Oh my God. I'm worried. Oh, what if we get some people involved in this? What if we get some people active about this? What if we people get, oh my God. They, yeah, because you know why? I'm not on the in-group. I'm not in that in-group. I'm not in the secret keeping in-group, all right? I'm not in the, no, don't talk about it in-group. The Oh, we got to give them a second. Let them have their space. The, oh, oh, no, you know, I am I try to support whatever, whatever the alternative lifestyle shit. No, dude. I know trans women. They don't do that. They don't do that. I know gay people. They don't fucking do that. I know straight people. They don't do that. I know all sorts of people. They don't do that. They don't talk about that. They don't talk like that. They don't get involved in shit like that. Where the fuck does that come from? Where's the courage to do that come from? That's suspicious. Deeply weird. Deeply fucking weird, man. You're like, Tyler, that's not a fucking piss fetish song. No? How do you know? It all seemed fun. Oh, that's cute. I got a friend. She's a deer. Lives with me. <laughs> <laughs> what is she into? Fucking little boys? Jerking off the little boy dick? Oh, okay. That's the weirdest shit I've ever fucking heard. That's the strangest shit I have ever fucking heard. That's bizarre. That's weird. No, it's not. She's in my house, which means she's doing it there. <laughs> no matter what you know, you know. Demon Mama has that in her house. She has it at her friend's house. Vosh, you know Vosh? Vosh Vidya? She goes and hangs out with him. He's got it at his house too. Isn't that weird? How many how many times have you had have you had lolly pornography? How how many how many times have you had what we call on my stream a, a five terabyte enjoyer <laughs> in your house? And then you can go from one house to another and hang out. Isn't that crazy? 
I mean, I, I grew up Catholic, so there's every possibility I was in the room with two pedophiles at the same time, what with me being an altar boy. Thank God I didn't find out the hard way. But I, it's never just naturally occurred because I had friends <laughs> that were like that. How did you accumulate so many pedophiles? You can come in and tell me. Tell me about it. That's crazy to me. That's wild. That's weird. That's off. How did you get so many? I don't know any. I don't know any. <laughs> I don't know any that I know of. I don't know a single one. I don't have a, I don't have a single friend that's ever talked about baby dick on the internet. Publicly. And then I associated with them on top of it. I, I, I cut it off at the bottom. Don't add that extra shit for me. At all for me. At all for me. At all for me. But you got multiple? How's Demon got so many fucking pedos in her fucking in her immediate community? That's, isn't that strange? Isn't that weird? It's not a transgender thing. Fucking Vosh ain't transgender. Vosh is just fucking terrible at fashion. Isn't that crazy though? I know they're going to fucking try to get that Tyler. I think this is an anti-trans thing that you're going on. Is it really? Do you want to do that? By the way, don't let them. Don't let them put transgenderism between them and criticism because that's fucked. But, and they'll do it too. This is one of the worst things about her community. That's a real, that's a real criticism. How do you got two people into baby dick in your immediate circle? How have you been to two people into baby dick's houses in your life? If it was me, I would go, what in the fuck's wrong with me? But we don't have that from that community. From that community, we don't even have that have that amongst their, their, their listeners and their viewers. Isn't that strange? Why is that? What's up? What's going on over there with the imps? That all, all this all this weird sex shit, all this fetish shit's happening, all this fucking baby dick, fucking little girls and horses and shit. They're all fucking cool with it. That's crazy. And then you start talking about like, oh man, Xander Hall was crazy. I'm like, Xander Hall is the, <laughs> he, he's a fucking moron and a psycho and he's not that good at making content overall, but God bless him. But like, you get fucking sucked into that. What the fuck? <laughs> tell me, they tell me he's fucking crazy. Well, all right. <laughs> you think about it. Xander Hall had a year where they told him he couldn't tell the truth about somebody who was fucking sniffing up donos, just sniffing them up. Keffel's just sniffing up donos. Don't tell anyone about this, okay? We're waiting for the right moment. He, What's the right moment? <laughs> One of them's already an open fucking around with baby dick lover. And then like two months, two months after fucking he gets his career almost destroyed because they won't let him rat on some shit because they're saving it up for their little fucking gossip circle and whatever. His, his other fucking daddy is also got fucking baby dick porn on his computer, horse dick and little girl porn on his computer. Can you tell me, would you lose your fucking mind too? Like, yeah, I'm not defending anything he did. He reacted terribly. <laughs> he should have been out of there sooner. But what do you have it described to that? Like that, is that not the weirdest shit you've ever fucking heard? Is that not? Is that, I would lose my mind too. I would have to take deep fucking moments to breathe and like, wow, the fuck do I know so many people that I have to defend their possession of basically child pornography. How did I get to this point? Who the fuck did I piss off? God, are you there? It's me, Xander Hall. What the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> I have a rule, dude. I let fucking NSFW stuff in my Discord for a, like, week. And then I realized it was a bad idea. It was a bad idea. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? It attracted a whole subsection of people who disappeared the immediate moment I, I eliminated. Because we have an art server. So I wanted people to be able to literally just draw nudes, like, in the fucking Italian style. You know what I mean? Draw a Botticelli, some shit. If I'm losing you, don't worry about it. Just open a book about the Vatican. I wanted them to be able to draw shit like that and post it. That is not what fucking appeared in my NSFW board. It was immediately like fetish shit off rip. Like fucking stinky underpits, feet, fart, fuck. No. All right. That's done. I got rid of that. I was like, no, nah, I'm fucking, we're good. We're good. I had a very strict rule on my server. Absolutely no, no, no children ever. Nobody that's that's a that draws that no 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 my friend no got rid of it and then all of those people that had joined to post in the NSFW vanished they vanished let me let me let me hit that home for you they disappeared from my community they weren't my fans they weren't there to watch me talk about shit they didn't give a fuck about my opinions they just wanted to share some weird shit okay 
So you gotta get you gotta get weird shit shares out of your community, or they just gonna they just want a platform to share weird shit. These are communities where the person has been weird for a fucking half decade or more, for a half decade or more, for a half decade or more. Talking about going going back to shit all the time, going back to shit all the time. It's deeply suspicious, deeply suspicious. I under like you know how many how many times you have to defend a fucking child pornography ar argument. You know what I mean? If you're a Vosh fan and shit. And they don't kick that out. They don't get rid of that. Because he's he is that. He is that guy. He shares that shit. He's up in that world. He's about that life. So if I have to kick out... If I have to kick out and end the entire NSFW board. Instantaneously. Otherwise it starts getting fu weird. Cr crazy fat. A blit nuked. Blah, 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 blah. And all those people disappear? When you have a Vosh going for five years, okay? Demon Mama for just as long, and you have people around you in your immediate circle, or you are the person who would be posting and sharing in that NSFW board? What the fuck are you gonna, what, what the fuck is gonna be going on in your area? And I know that you're liars. I know you're liars. I know you hide stuff. They like to build up blackmail. You know who else likes to build up blackmail? Pedophiles. Pedophiles love it. Because that's how pedophiles trade shit between each other. Don't tell about me. Here's all this fucking five terabyte shit. Talk to cops about it. I, when I was a fucking crime and courts reporter, I asked. I, I got to talk to the guy who's in the, the basically like child abuse interdi interdiction department. Like, hey, what's up over here? Like, how do you guys do this? Because I'm, I'm, I'm curious as fuck. Like, literally. Like, how do you... Do you have bleach for eyes? Like, can can you do that? And like, dude's like, it's fucking miserable. It's a fucking horrible job. But like, I get through it by catching people. Like, how do they get out there? He's like, oh, they have little crew. They have little clicks. They have little crews they build up. Like little fucking little fuck cabals and shit. And they all fucking build up blackmail material on each other and stuff like that. Because they all know that they'll. It's like mutually assured destruction. And so they're gonna want you to like compromise yourself when you get involved with it and stuff and blah 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 or they'll build up shit if someone's even near them so that they can fucking light them up over it oh weird that's crazy i always kept that in mind i know it's i know it's like so, well Tyler, it's a little conspiratorial but i mean it's conspiratorial when you just see somebody maybe keep a few secrets but we have like whisper campaigns and shit over there we have we have brigading on me that i caught so if they're brigading on me and trying to take me down. And I know they tried to take Xander Hall down. They didn't drop Xander Hall shit because it was an ethical an ethical dilemma for them. They weren't trying to protect a friend. They dropped it the second he fucking crossed the line. Which was fucking with that circle. So what's inside that circle that you can fuck with? What are they really worried about over there? They'll never tell you, by the way. They'll lie. They'll lie. But what I can prove, what I can prove is that White Nervosa is funded by Vosh, right? Or White Leaf is funded by Vosh. They say that. It's on their site. Vosh is a major donor to this. Vosh is a horse porn guy with the little girls. You remember that? You remember that? You remember how weird that was? Strange. He's still around. Why is he around? <laughs> He's around. He's trying to show up on fucking breaking points and shit. One of his people that comes to visit his house that hangs out with him is Demon Mama. And she's got someone in her community that also does that fuck baby dick shit. And not in her community, in her house, in her bedroom. Eating breakfast across the fucking table from the fucking five terabyte. You know what I mean? How big does that get? What's Gay Fesh into? I don't know. He's the one that wrote the piss song. They know each other, by the way. They go back. They were in a cult together. Did you know that? It's called Calvary. Calvary, they fucking made a video on it. I, I don't, I'm not gonna play it right now on stream because I'm on a fucking roll. They were into, they were in a cult together, and now somehow Demon Mama just ended up running a Discord server that acts like a fucking cult. You know what happens in cults? You guys know what the most no, most common thing to happen in a cult? Somebody was just even telling me about it when they were talking about it: sexual abuse and sexual malfeasance. Why? Because one person's got control and they all build up fucking, they all build up information on each other. They put things together. They go, oh, I think this person right here, I think this person right here is going to fucking tell on us. Let's get something about him. Let's, let, let, let's figure out if he's, uh, if he's embezzled. Let's figure out if he's cheated on his wife. Let's figure out this. This is why they are always sending out their little feelers. They're trying to build up fucking, build up little folders on people to keep them good. What's going on inside that? Fu what is going on inside that? What is going on inside that world? Controlled by Vosh. Controlled by Vosh. Literally, money. 
down, money down, money down on the table. And people that are in White Leaf, not a lot of comments on Vosh. I'm not going to hate on some of them are pretty good people in from what I know. Okay. And it might be just one of those things where they're like, fuck, you know, they might not know anything, but what they do know is fucking Rose Riz talk that shit. Rose Riz talked that shit and her fucking, or his, his there, I don't know, fucking site got shut down. They redirected the site to fucking Keffel's like fucking, uh, Keffel's fucking, uh, charity or her fucking GoFundMe or some shit. It's fucking crazy, right? Once you do that one time, you know, fuck, I'm fucking in with these guys on all my shit. If they could in a night time turn my entire channel off, fuck with me. Rose versus like, I can't even get a fucking hold of them over personal grudges and shit because I called out Vosh. What does that tell you? I can't talk. I can't, I can't talk about Vosh anymore. Comes in real handy when Vosh drops lolly porn on stream, doesn't it? Cause then you don't see white leaf people talking about it. Demon mama didn't say shit. Xander Hall barely said a thing. Why? I don't know. Maybe he's just really good friends with Vosh. I think a normal person would have said some shit. I did. I said, that's fucking gross. Don't personally care about trying to get him arrested for it because it's not literally illegal probably to some degree it should be but i don't know how you would do that in the law fucking grimy though i'll tell you that and i don't want him to fucking associated with anything that i value that's grimy grime get him to fuck away from me though get him the fuck away from me you know can't put him in jail whatever but i can put him outside exile him get rid of him no one got rid of him still around still working with him Showing up at PV events. Why is he showing up at PV events? Progressive Victory? Oh, that's right. He's a major donor. That's crazy. What? Major donor to Progressive Victory? Yeah. Yeah. Progressive Victory people didn't say that much about Vosh. That's crazy. Right? Crazy. A major creator dropped a fucking lolly porn folder on... Just dropped it. Dropped it on stream. Nobody had anything to say about that? Fucking weird, right? Now, they wouldn't be running cover for him, would they? Because they got a monetary incentive to not say shit. That's crazy to say, right? Any of you can come on in. Progressive victory. Whoever's running that shit. Come on. Fuck, talk to me. Talk to me about it. Well, fucking, I'll, I'll get my little research going and shit. We can have a conversation. Because that's just strange to me. Just strange. And nobody had anything to fucking say. Weird. Weird, right? How is Xander Hall making money? Well, Xander Hall is making money two ways. He's making money through a white leaf site. He's making money through progressive victory donations <laughs> or uh, progressive victory. He's making videos for them and getting paid. So is Cherry, his editor. Well, they, Cherry was apparently not even making videos. She was just getting paid. It's crazy, right? What, what kind of organization would bring you along and just pay you to not do anything? I don't know. Does that ever happen? I don't know. Maybe if you know something about something and you know, you just got to get a little bit of money. Hey, oh, that's a friend of mine. They do stuff for me. They're all up involved in fucking Xander Hall shit. <laughs> all of a sudden, Xander Hall's not going to say anything about Vosh. That's correct. Why? Well, I don't know. He sent a gigantic string of text freaking out about how he's going to go homeless if Progressive Victory doesn't pay him. And he's in with fucking, he's in with Vosh sites twice. He's on Progressive Victory and he's on fucking White Leaf. Damn. Feels like he can't say much. I asked him. I, I I reached out to Xander Hall. I added him in his, his Discord. He didn't have to talk to me. He might have his own reasons. I, <laughs> I'm not going to fucking massage his reputation if he talks to me. I think he acted like a fucking psycho, and I think he makes a lot of bad decisions. But he can always come talk to me. I offered him that. Didn't even fucking. He didn't even respond to my ad. He talked around me to everybody else. I would too, if I was fucking monetary reliant on two fucking streams of income that both go directly to the same guy who has the horse folder full of porn. <laughs> strange it all comes down from one little thing by the way I, I probably wouldn't be necessarily trying to talk about all this for the fourth fucking time on stream again and again and again but it's good that gay fesh reached out to fucking the authorities against me because it gave me a reason to put his name in the fucking title and talk about it once more because i've been saying this shit again and again and again i'm gonna keep talking about it because it feels true to me it feels true if i'm wrong correct me correct me come on stream reach out but you can't talk to anybody from that crew isn't that weird isn't that strange? Isn't that strange? Kind of like getting shuffled around, right? You remember, does it remind you of anything? You know the Catholic Church when they had all them pedophiles? They all got fucking moved. They all got shifted around. You couldn't really like get a hold of them. We've seen that movie like Spotlight and shit. You can't really talk to the guys. You can't talk to the people in charge. Why your voice is off the internet? Vanished. Off Twitter. I don't know where, I don't know how the fuck to get a hold of them. Demon Mama doesn't respond to shit. Was I mean? Absolutely. Still, she should fucking respond to the things in general. You know what I mean? I would. I would. Fucking Nick DiOrio, Turkey Tom, 
fucking Philip DeFranco, some at Kingstar, I don't give a shit who it is. Fuck Vosh, Xander Hall, Shark, any people, any any of the people I know on the internet made a video about me saying I'm a fucking nonce. Talking about how it's weird that I maybe run cover for fucking lolly shit for drawing pictures of kids fucking horses it's hard it's hard you kind of like you kind of want to hand wave it but then when i say what the fuck it is doesn't that make it like a little fucking rough doesn't that make it a little straight little fuck <laughs> all these people know each other they're friends gay fesh is a friend of hers they were in a cult together did i mention that they were in a cult together now they're all fucking sequestered fortress arc Fortress Arc, they don't talk to people from the outside. When you go to when you go to Demon Mama's area, it's the no gaslight zone. You ever heard that? The no gaslight zone. We don't gaslight you here. No, here you can always trust us. Who says stuff like that? Cults. <laughs> Your Catholic Church, when they had all them fucking pedophiles running around, they closed quick. Boom, boom, boom. Can't talk to anybody. Can't talk to anybody. We don't fucking talk to anyone. Fucking they would burn people. You know that? The Catholic Church would try to burn families. Why? Catholic Church had you go to confession. You went to confession. Maybe they kept on, you know, build up little folders on you. It's an old way of operating. So if you try to fucking step out of line, they can fuck you up. Oh shit, you just work with the church? Well, you better not say anything about all that shit that's going on. They'll fuck up your career. Isn't that crazy how fucking, how fucking like one for one that kind of feels from the outside? Getting in there, praying, putting on little devil, literal devil horns. <laughs> People paying tithes and shit. I've said this 18, 20 fucking times on stream by now. How fucking weird it is. And it gets weirder the more I look at it. I was a casual watcher. I wasn't like getting in fucking Vosh's chat and being like, blah, 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 you know, fucking years before the fucking lolly folder. I only started last August. But the second I started paying attention, strict attention to streamers and somebody was trying to be a peer in this area, the weirder it got. The more you look, the stranger it is. The more I talk about it, the more confusing it sounds, doesn't it? How is that? You got one guy paying for two organizations that pay for multiple people who will never criticize him. And if you do criticize him outside of it, oh, this is leftist infighting. This is leftist infighting. Leftist infighting. <laughs> Can't even call out his fucking political takes. Can't talk shit. Can't talk shit about Vosh. Because he got money. He's got money in the game. Now all of a sudden the guy that talks about fucking child pornography and how, how how fucking exploiting kids and oh he's always talking about his dick he likes to come he's a he's a guy that busts nuts man you ever heard about vosh he's got a big dick he jerks off he busts nuts he fucks twinks oh you guys ever heard about tacoma tacoma wept when he stopped fucking always oh, always talking about fucking always talking about his dick always talking about porn and shit and all of a sudden we got fucking a little bit of lolly leaking out here a little bit of fucking horse porn and shit how fucking how is that that's kind of crazy that's kind of weird. You go over to Demon Mama community. All oh, their friends, they go shooting together and stuff. They hang out. They hang out. What's she up to? I don't know. She's hanging out with the fucking baby dick person. Well, that's kind of crazy. What? Really? Baby dick person and the horse dick person. All in the same room, hanging out, having conversations. What do you think they talk about? You think they talk about the fucking weather over there? Bum, 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 bum. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know what I can add to that. I'm going to start looking into it harder. And understand, I'm a leftist. I am a leftist leftist. I'm hardcore for fucking workers' rights. And all people that work are workers. I don't give a shit what your background is. Ethnicity, religion, your gender disposition, LGBT, QIA+, plus, aromantic, all y'all motherfuckers. I don't give a shit. If you're a worker, I fucking support your rights. And I think that your self-determination should keep you safer than me trying to fucking... Do the, the, the soldier getting hit by fucking arrows and knives meme while the kid, you in this situation, sleeps. I, I believe that. And I think that these people are fucking bad for that movement. I don't see how you could think that they're good. I don't, you, hit me with that. Hop in chat and tell me the moment I need to get, oh, sorry, he raised $150,000 for Palestine. I don't know if you know this, but he, uh, uh, he did phone banking for Raphael Warnock. Well, uh, stop doing that shit. Okay? Stop. Stop. Cut it out. Because I'm not going to stop talking about this shit. I have no financial incentive. It's the best thing. The good thing about being talented, actually, and not trying to be part of the dick suck circle, the five terabyte enjoyer, suspicious, suspicious as fuck circle, the weird fuck circle, is I'm not financially obligated to lie to any of you. I'm not. I'm not. That's it. I get by on my reputation. That's it. Demon Mom was saying that shit. She said, I'm not I'm not paid by progressive victory and blah, 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 blah. Hey, you on fucking site with Vosh, though, aren't you? 
I'm not compromised. I'm supported by viewers like you. Passing the fucking plate and shit. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy that you can't say whatever you want, though. Or maybe you can. Maybe all. Maybe you are saying all you want to say. Suspicious. And I'm here. Come back. I'm not afraid. I don't give a shit. This ain't a fucking... This ain't a fucking... Leafy is here ass fucking video essay and shit. I'm not gonna disappear. I'm here, motherfucker. I'm here. Remember when y'all used to fucking debate? <laughs> I'm gonna be on the hippy dippy. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking talking to talking to fucking destiny. Okay. Oh shit, man. I'm gonna be fucking hitting up. Oh dude, I swear to God, fucking Ben Shapiro scared of me. Fucking Carl of uh Carla fucking Swindon, Carlos Sargon. Fuck, he's scared of me, bro. I fucking oh man, you don't even know. I'm fucking uh Vosh brings it to the masses, bitch. I'm here. I'm here. Come fucking explain yourself. Come explain yourself. Do it. I'm going to get bigger and I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to say it till I don't fucking see you anymore. Because I'm a worker, really. I can't see an un unmopped floor and not want it mopped. You know what I mean? I can't see an unfinished project and not want to finish it. I can't, I can't look at stuff that needs fixing and not want to fucking fix it. And this is the most insanely obvious shit in the world. Because if you like, like President Sunday or don't like him... He's like basically the next biggest voice in this area that's not somehow compromised by these people. Because I don't even trust anyone that they've been friends with. People that like people that Demon Mama has like friendly relations with. Suspicious. Deeply suspicious. Pirate software is one of the bright lights of the streamer world. Yeah, man. Thank you, Pirate so So what you have to do here is uh, when you get famous, people are going to start paying attention to you. And what you do is, um, you just don't try to fuck their children. <laughs> so sometimes what happens is, uh, when you get very famous, you have a lot of influence on people below you. And when you do, all right, uh, y some of them are going to experience uh, a little bit of attraction to them, to, to, to you as a streamer. And what you do is you, you don't fuck them. All right. Uh, also, there's pornography on the internet that's unethical. What you do is you don't download it. Don't even work with it. Instead, go to a therapist. <laughs> oh my god. Gonna be print cringe, can already tell. Demon Mama was friends with Bad Bunny? The just five dollars chick? Hell yeah. <laughs> 